my ghost. In this episode, we talk president of a motorcycle club, 99s, RCs, ACs, 1%er. It applies to everybody. We talk good presidents and bad presidents, and we get into it on this episode of Demons Road TV. And oh, yeah, we ghosting, baby. the demons road tv the holy grail of mc culture where we cover everything motorcycle club involved i'm chopper sosa i'm your host for the evening and today we're gonna talk president of a motorcycle club the duties we're gonna talk one percenter 99 any type of president the good the bad the ugly and i i got a great president right now i can tell you about some fucked up ones we're gonna get into everything but the first thing i want you to do is to hit me with that pound ghosting and that lets me know you're alive and well sitting on twos doing what you do okay so let's talk about it the top of the spectrum in any club is the president now, is the president all power, all say, or is it a board? It depends on your club. From my perspective and from my experience in 1% clubs, a president is not all powerful. There's a board. Now, within that board, you know, the VP, the SARS, all, all the other members of the board have a say so. So a president can't just be a dictator in a 1% club. They cannot just tell everybody, look, you go do this, you go do that, you go do this. That's not the way it works in a 1% club. A president has to be someone that is very good at dealing with people. You have to manage. When you're, you're like a manager, a head coach, you have to deal with all the different personalities in your club. You got, you know, the laid back ones are easier, but then you got loose cannons, you got sergeant of arms that are running crazy or enforcers. You gotta know how to deal with all these type of personalities because it's very easy to be hated if you're a president. Now, you got presidents that feel that they're above everybody else. I know, listen, I know presidents that go to events and they talk to other presidents more than they talk to their own. So that type of president is just in it for the for the fame. They want to be cool. They want to look like they're a top dog. That's not what being a president's about. Being a president is about leading, being a leader of men, and also being the biggest servant that you can for the club, really, because they're the ones that sacrifice a lot of time. To be a president, you can't just be some lazy dude. A president has so much responsibilities in a club, and they have to delegate the responsibilities to the right people, because if you pick, if you put the wrong people in position, your club is gonna falter. Now, a president never handles the money. For, for the reason that I'm saying, they can't be all powerful. If they control the money, then they would just have too much power. They can make too much decisions in the club. So you'll always have your treasurer that will handle that. The VP, depending on the VP you got, he's hawking over the money, making sure everything is straight as far as your dues money and money you make off the clubhouse, off, off, off events or anything, like they never let the president have his hands all over the money because it's just a conflict of interest. Now, being a president, you need to be, you need to have a lot of time on your hands. A lot of times presidents are older, more settled in their life, you know, don't have the kids and the different stuff that's needed or they're older by now. But like, whenever I got into some shit, Doc was right there. When I had my motorcycle accident and I was incapacitated, who was right there? Doc, when I bought my bike, when I first bought my, my soft tail slim, my, 
my beautiful soft tail slim and i got a video i'll link that down when i first bought it doc is on there with me he was right there he was happy as i am or maybe even happier on a quick side note too for all the people that's always asking me they want to see my bike i linked that video but i'm always the one with the big skull mask riding up i'll put a little clip right here that's me so you can stop asking me to see my bike because I don't know if police is trying to get the drop on me and know what my bike is and all that. So people asking me, yo, show your bike, let me see your bike. I, I don't know, sometimes I'm funny about that, but I do always have my bike in the video. That's me with the mask. I don't ride without a mask on because it's cold and I need to have my face covered. You know, a good president is almost like a father to you. Like that dude is almost like a father to me. And shout to Trump and Nat, because those are my big brothers. I love them, their presence also. I don't mention names to certain people because they don't want their names mentioned. But I got some great presidents in my club that been involved with. But then I've had presidents that, that, that don't even say what up to me because they're too busy talking to like some other president from another club. Not understanding that when you go out somewhere, this is a brotherhood. This is about brotherhood. This isn't about you being cool, putting yourself ahead of the club. This isn't you looking cool for, for, the, for the women because cause you're a president and that makes you like, like who cares about that? If a female really cares about that, why would you even want that female? If she wants you just because you're a president of a motorcycle club, like that's the type of female you want. I got a lot more standards than that. So a good president will, his words alone will be what helps your club expand. A good president can talk to other people and lead them to want to join. A good president will show in his ways and actions when he talks to you and he talks to the other brothers, people would be envious. Like, I want to be in a club like that because you see the way that president treats them. A president, a good president, doesn't treat prospects like shit. I'm big on giving prospects respect. Yeah, they got to put in work, but at the end of the day, you're a man first. So nobody should be treating you like a straight up bitch. And I don't want nobody down with me that gets treated like a bitch and just holds it down. You know what I'm saying? So a good president doesn't allow that type of shit to go on either. A good president controls that floor when we're having church. You know what I mean? A bad president can separate brothers. A bad president can make brothers want to leave the club or brothers do leave the club or brothers want to switch to another chapter. Bad presidents will make it where one chapter don't rock with the other. They cause separation within the structure of a club. You know what I mean? Like the, the cliques in clubs, like we need to do a whole nother episode on cliques too because people create these little cliques and that is the opposite of brotherhood. What is the brotherhood and you isolating five or six brothers and making them like, oh, well, these are my brothers, but nobody else is my brother. Listen, anybody that reps the same team as me, that's my brother. Like, I'm a ride for you like I would for anybody else. If you don't have that type of mentality, all you're gonna do is bring down your nation. So if you know you have a side, and this goes for any member, not just the president. If you have a solitary mind state, I've had brothers that have left the club that I was in and they said it. I have my, my mentality is too about myself. You know what I mean? Like I need to focus on myself. Leave. It's good for you to leave. You're not a club mentality type person. You don't have that pack mentality. So it's better for you to just be a lone wolf and do your own thing. A president is a job that is not easy and you can easily and quickly be hated and you can be voted out. You're not just president for life. So you gotta understand that and understand that at the top of the spectrum, being a president comes with a lot of responsibility. You have to be the step back and think about a type person. I feel that if you have too much of a goon mentality, which some of us do, every club has a couple of members that are like the goons, they're the, they're the, they're the strength of the club. But the, the president is not supposed to be the strength. They're supposed to be like the brain of the club or one of the brains of the club. You gotta be the ultimate chess player. That's the best way to describe it. If you're the president of the club, you gotta be the ultimate chess player. And you gotta put, you gotta position a sergeant of arms that can protect you. Your sergeant of arms needs to be your strength when you're a president. Your VP has to be somebody that you really trust and is not a lazy motherfucker that could actually make your job easier because 
everything that's falling on your shoulders, if you have a strong VP, they can help you with that. If you have a strong sergeant of arms, they'll make sure your back is, you know, protected. So you need to put people in position as a president, you know, and people get voted in, but you got to get the people voted in that are right for the position. Because if you put the wrong people in a position, you make your club very weak. But my brothers that are not presidents, shout to all my presidents that are watching too. Give me a pound president if you're if you're watching the show right now. But but for my brothers, if you're ever at a disagreement with your president, never do this shit in front of people. If you disagree on anything, you never do it in a public forum. Always make your president look good in public. Like that's one thing about me that I get on the brothers about and I always, listen, Doc is up here and we need to make sure he's good everywhere we go. And when you got a good president, they don't take advantage of it. He never takes advantage of it. He just knows he got strong brothers to protect them and make sure he's good. So any questions you have on presidents, hit me in the comments. I'll answer to the best of my ability. I do wanna eventually get Doc on here so he could just really spit it with you. We're gonna start doing some live too because I wanna really engage. I'll keep Wednesdays regular the way we've been doing and then maybe pick up another day and then we do live, you know what I mean? And just shake it up a little bit. Um, Listen, support the channel, get the Demons Roll clothing, ghost their hoodies, Demons Roll Scullies, we got everything you need, man. Thank you for supporting. Thank you for watching the show. It's rising so much. I never thought it would rise this fast. I knew it would rise because I'm confident, but I never thought it would rise this fast, and I'm having fun. Thank you for tuning in to Demons Row TV, the holy grail of MC culture. Like, subscribe, and comment. And oh yeah, we ghosting, baby.